yo, it's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This another Shizzy Lit podcast. You understand me? I'm mad as shit right now, boy. A nigga ain't got no motherfucking life. Motherfuckers got a fat ass motherfucking dog stout with that shit in it and don't got no motherfucking life. Fucking up my motherfucking ambiance. I got my coffee game, my stout game. You know, feel me? And it's a motherfucking shame. Anyway, I want to talk about. Job Moran, I know everybody already did it, but I always wait till everybody do. I need to hear as much about this shit as I can, so I can rap to y'all and give y'all my motherfucking take on the situation. I heard a lot of people, you know, feel me, giving a uh, opinion, you know what I mean, uh, reacting, you know what I mean. So you know, it's a reacting world, so everybody got something to say, and of course, I'm one of them too. <laughs> Excuse me. So anyway, yeah. Uh, so uh. Huh. It was a good thing I did wait, cause you know, I'm a mellow fan. You know feel me? I don't be giving a fuck about nobody else. Like, you know feel me? Like, you know, I mean, the niggas you hear all the time, LeBron, Steph Curry, all that. You hear them, you ain't got no choice. But you know feel me? Job ja Morant, I ain't know you had some lower shit when you was um fighting a little high school nigga or whatever, whatever. Like doing a lot of shit that. You know, feel me? He ain't got to do really like it. Like, if you like the face of the NBA right now, you got all that money guaranteed and all that shit. You know, feel me? Being as though you the face of the motherfucking uh, NBA, they let you slide with a bunch of shit. You know, feel me? They say you pulled up on, you brought the goons to the, um, to like a little mall or something, beefing with niggas or some shit like that or whatever, whatever shit. Made it hot and, um, then you posed the motherfucker. They say, uh, what else you did? Uh, you fought through a high school day. Put the oh, you uh, your little, your goons, your entourage, and all that shit. Start beefing with the Pacers, the little Pacers team or whatever. However, that going um, pull up all them with the truck and put the beam on them and shit like that hot shit. Like they got all right, maybe the niggas you rolling with is goofy as hell, but yet gangster and shit and whatever, whatever. So you feel as though. You know what I mean? You got to do that. No, if you go ahead and get these niggas around, you got to know how to control them. And they supposed to be protecting you. So far, they ain't been protecting you, but they been hurting you and shit. You know what I mean? They probably protect you against some violence and shit. But career-wise, common sense-wise, they ain't protecting you, bro. You know what I mean? And then um, the infamous strip club situation and shit when you got the gun. You know what I mean? On Instagram live and shit. I don't know what's the point of that for. Or why? Like, why do you think that's smart? Do you really want to be in the NBA? You say, fuck it, I got all this money now. I done accomplished my dreams and a little bit more. So I ain't got to play and beat my body up. Is it that's what you try to say? I don't know. But there's better ways to do it than that, Jack. So now they talking about suspension. You know what I mean? When the season come back, uh shit. At least half a season and shit, if not the whole season and shit. You know, feel me up. Just for the simple fact, he goofy as a motherfucker. Like you, stupid as shit. Like I mean, if you want to really get into it, you goofball as shit. Like, cause uh, nigga, you got away with it once. Why the fuck is you? Why you want to dance like that? Why is that one of your favorite dances? Putting a gun to your head and dancing. Who, who do that? Where they do that at? Like, which one of your favorite rappers do that? I, I don't. I mean, listen, man. Cut the bullshit out. Niggas calling you NBA dumb boy. You want to keep on listening to NBA young boy. And the NBA young boy, he younger than you, bro. Like, you pulled a bit of influence on him, not the other way around. Y'all niggas is weak minded, goofy as shit. Like, that's, listen, that's, that's how you know it can happen to anybody. Any goofy motherfucker can become a millionaire overnight. I ain't saying he did because he definitely put in work that he got skills to pay the motherfucking bills. But the bills ain't going to get paid if he keep on doing all this shit. You want to be a gangster so bad. So now, you getting the attention of the gangsters, the little crip nigga brick baby and shit, you know, feel me, on his ass. Like, why is you even portraying that shit, nigga? You grew up in a nice neighborhood, nigga, you done grinded your way all these years to get the fuck up out the hood. What the fuck is you going backwards for? Being stupid, you ready to fuck up all that money, get kicked off the team, all the crip niggas gonna be on your top, because you throwing the crip sign up, you're not affiliated with the crips, you ain't giving back to the community. They say when uh, Draymond Green throw the crips up, Throw the, the Crip sign up The Crips feel like he's showing them love Because he gives back to the community And all that type shit Where the Crips at So you know, feel me When he throw up the Crip sign They take that shit as love and shit You know, feel me Because he spread love through that joint They say nigga you ain't gave back You ain't affiliated in no type of way Unless you throwing up Crestwood or some shit What that see for Crestwood I don't know but 
Nigga say they on your ass and you need to just get scared straight. Brick baby say shit. Let me get up with him for let him get him for 24 hours and shit and let him take him through the motherfucking real crib hood and all that type shit. And see the real shit. The shit that they don't show you like. I mean, the shit that really goes on that you don't really see and shit. You see the little cool dancing, you know, feel me? The blue matching up with the diamonds and all that. You, and, and, and that's cool and shit. Your dumb ass doing everything all them crip niggas that give up the crip shit for. You know, feel me? They leave that shit alone. Niggas don't be wanting to do that shit. That's how you know niggas don't be official. Because the niggas that's official in it don't want to be in it. They try to get the fuck up out of it. You know, feel me? They was born in that shit. You know, feel me? They come from that. You know, feel me? They ain't portraying it. You know what I mean? They mad at you because you portraying it. Like, why the fuck do you want to portray it, nigga? You're up. I just need to understand. You know what I mean? So, shit is ridiculous. And then, you know, Steven, they went in on him. And you know, he plugged that. He say a very high-ranking motherfucker that got super-duper access to all the commissioners and all the top dogs that's got to make this decision. Like, writing little letters. You know how, like, if you got a P.O. or some shit like that, your motherfucking, um... P.O. will write the little letter to the judge Whether she wants you You to show him, show him some love Or lock his ass up and shit They ain't show him no love They say listen we showed you love And, and we was real lenient You know feel me and, 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 and forgiving this first go around and shit You know what I mean But for you to double right back Period Then so soon at that We got to make an example out of him So it ain't gonna be pretty for him You know feel me For all you Ja Morant fans you know, feel me? All you young boys that look up to him and shit, he just showed y'all what not to do all of this shit. Sometimes it be like that. He can show you what to do and be inspira- inspira- inspiring. Oh shit. Inspiring and shit. You know, feel me? But at the same time, he can show you what not to do because you definitely don't want to do that. I don't know what's up with this generation want to keep incriminating themselves. But then this is like, this is the dumbest one yet, right here. The dumbest one. Now you got the gangster niggas going to be on your top. Nigga, they about to start extorting the shit out. You want to be a crip so much. Oh, you can be a crip, but you're going to have to pay every day if you want to come around this way and play. You want to throw that C up in that fib. So all the crip niggas, like, you better hook me up in fib any motherfucker way. I just want to touch on that. I'm really disappointed in my job. I'm really disappointed. I want no super job around that, but I get a feel me. I was fucking with him and shit. You know what I mean? And sometimes you can blame the age on it, but not this time, yo. Because you just got off. The first time, yes. This time, no. Why is that your favorite dance? I got to ask this again. Why is the gun to your head is your favorite dance? That's goofball and shit. You know what I mean? Listen, man. You need to do something with yourself, man. You need to take your ass. I don't know. It's your boy. I'm out this bitch. Yitty.